Hello everyone, for this first lecture of the elective course, uh, Navigating Probabilistic Design Space. Uh, so this course is uh, mainly for architects or undergraduate students that, were, that uh, study architecture or maybe urban planner. And uh, we will get introduced to this interplay between these uh, three uh, highlighted terms. The design space is uh, mainly you get practiced and uh, for the thinking mood as an architect and uh, how to design a space. For the integration of this idea with the probability is, uh, is something uh, new. Uh, and um, nowadays these, there's a lot of tools and algorithms uh, we will find it nowadays in our hands and in the, the near future and uh, in this course is uh, it will introduce you how to how to navigate with this uh, with this uh, probability where no design or no output is a certain it's an uncertain uh, uh, space so on your mobile phone or internet you can find these kind of uh, tools that helps you to transform your face into um, uh, any none uh, any uh, in any face so it's uh, how how these kind of algorithms and tools nowadays we can find it um, in in our uh, scientific field as an uh, architect or engineer so you can find some some of these uh, marketing uh, data uh, if I post the, the video in any in any uh, second, there is no sp certain building. There is no specific building. It's uh, it's something y you have to um, you have to do it with your minds to say, yeah, this is a building. This is a window. This is a high rise building. This is a low building. Uh, this is a, a low building. This is a land. But mainly, nothing here says that it's. Uh, uh, it's a it's a geometry of a, of, uh, of a building, but actually it's it's not only on on on, on this uh, kind of uh, faces. It's uh, also with the floor plans. So how to look uh, into these uh, floor plans? And if you also pulled the video in any of these um, seconds, there is no specific uh, zones or or furniture. So if I pause at any moment. Uh, you are not certain. This is is it a sofa? Is it um, is it um, a chair? Is it, where is the door for this uh, uh, for these zones? So how how we can ask these kind of questions, uh, especially with with uh, say with this example, it's easily that you say yeah I it's okay for me. From a qualitative point of view, if I found uh, something like, let's say, these points. But the error in engineering and in architecture, it's uh, it's not easily to be uh, acceptable. So how to uh, look at this kind of um, uncertain designs and this kind of nonlinear more? Uh, what kind of uh, questions and the answers we, we should uh, expect from this? Otherwise, if we do not understand what is underneath these kind of algorithms like uh, mathematics or computer science or uh, coding, what, how can we uh, be uh, sure about uh, the outputs or we shouldn't be sure of anything? So otherwise, it's a nonsense and it's, and it's a mistake you say, yeah, this is a tool, it's, uh, it, it, it made this mistake, it's not me. So how to uh, get an enough amount of information and the knowledge uh, about what's happening underneath this uh, uh, this uh, technology? So these te these scientific fields that I uh, and these terms in this uh, in this slide, all of them are important and uh, all of them are crucial and you should know a lot about this. Uh, uh, these scientific fields uh, before uh, going into machine learning. But in this course, I will focus on the applicative perspective of how to integrate design with machine learning algorithms. I will give you, also, of course, it's uh, my point of view and uh, my, uh, uh, my way of thinking how to use this as a designer and 
later uh, if every one of us um, individually will think about uh, design and how to extract important questions you feel that yeah these kind of questions i need to ask uh, this kind of tools so this kind of uh, uh, loop or this kind of cycle a uh, diagram it's uh, it's um, it's it's an expression of the the skeleton of thinking that of, uh, i use it in in research and in uh, in, in, uh, in learning these uh, tools and uh, also uh, <coughs> while practicing the, this idea of integration of machine learning. So the, the, the first uh, step in this uh, four cycle is the discovery. So how to discover a space? What is the space? Is it the space of a floor plan? Is it the space of an image? Is it the space of a text that uh, I need to inspire from it an idea? So the, uh, what is this space? And how to observe something important. And with observation, I mean observation in time, I mean that you have an, you highlighted an important uh, point that you want to stand on it to describe this space. So let's say you, you discover a new land or a, or a floor plan. And then you say, yeah, I will describe this floor plan from this point of view. Or I will describe it, uh, this idea of a that represented as a text and from this kind of keywords. How you select these important keywords and you can use it later to describe um, and correlate uh, these keywords with the full description of a space. And then you have to need to, to measure, to uh, this is with the exploration that you have to know how, uh, how to define a distance. How, what, is it the distance between uh, text is the same in, in my real life or the, in the metric space that I use? It's, it's different how to, to measure these distances. Last step after you, you are able to, dis to know how to discover and uh, you extract your, um, uh, your uh, important uh, points to observe and you know how to quantify your measurements, then the next step is to think if you found an, a problem then there is a, uh, you need to solve it if you want to design if you want to synthesize if you want to predict predict is something that will happen in future so this is the the, the fourth step. so this is just an, an images maybe you, you you think about it to correlate this diagram with uh, with some examples so we will find here in this call in this in this uh, lecture um, yeah, several images, uh, several images describe uh, this kind of uh, loop, uh, which I call it an observational experience. So here is a, a face of a, of, a man, of, a, of a man, and you say, uh, this human, I know that uh, there is an eye and there is a nose and so on, and you can describe it as a human, but uh, for for um, for a machine, it's uh, it's described, let's say, as a red and the green and the blue channel and uh, and there is nothing say to say that this is a human. So, um, so the, the, this is the idea: how to discover these uh, three channels of red and green and blue, and what is the points important? So let's say these kind of points are the most important point to observe the the, the whole face of that man. How 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 to how to say that? Uh, this is the important point to describe an, an eye or a nose and so on. And that how to define this like it's the most important features that I need later to think how to correlate and make um, uh, a measurement or a quantification or a relation. This relation between the, these kind of uh, points or this kind of obstacles and uh, every point in, in this space. So um, then you say, okay, what, what what's kind of question to ask to this uh, to, to this one? Maybe you later you want to correlate uh, the movement of uh, of these points with with that is uh, he is a happy, a sad. Um, how how to define this kind of thing? Maybe this is the question, or maybe you need to. Uh, 
maybe later you want to synthesize new faces. Okay, so these these are uh, three uh, nodes are dealing with uh, four, uh, sorry this uh, four nodes are dealing with these uh, four main um, uh, uh, fields. So there is a field of a data. So with with the data you need to know how to discover and to extract the these kind of observations uh, and uh, how to find this. Uh, um, points that uh, you can with it describe a space. Uh, of course you can you can leave it to the computer and the machine that uh, there is a, an um, uh, automated algorithms that can uh, do it for, for you that can extract these important features but in this course we will highlight on on, on how to you do these features your own. So the, the, the second field is the feature engineering which is you, you know the, the, this kind of um, uh, uh, points that you can describe um, a text or an image or a, or, a, or a floor plan or a building envelope and also you are able to make this kind of measurements and quantify it then the topological mapping which, uh, which is uh, 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 it's not, of course, the similar to projection. It's not a specific projection that you want something to be projected on a specific uh, um, uh, plane. But it's uh, it's um, it's uh, the, mainly with with the topology, uh, and maybe later we can uh, define it more in the next lectures. But it's how elements of this data can be uh, related to each other. And uh, without uh, being uh, uh, limited to the position of these uh, points in, in this data, so you have uh, say faces uh, of humans, or you have floor plans, and in the first intuition you think, yeah, maybe they are far from each other, but uh, within the the full data you find that at the end, no, they are uh, they, they are an equivalent class. They are they have uh, some similarities. And th th this is the, uh, the importance of this uh, topology that uh, uh, you describe something uh, coming from a high dimensional space. So, yeah, let's say the high dimensional space, we mean that uh, something you have to describe it with a lot of values uh, to say what is this. It's not only one, it's not like the numbers, say it's a two, three, four, no, it's a, there is a lot of numbers or uh, quantities to describe uh, something. So it's a high dimensional uh, um, object and you want to reduct it and uh, find a way that to find these important similarities between these uh, kind of uh, phrases. So uh, here let's say just a, a quick example you have some uh, real faces you uh, you, are, you know the, what kind of uh, questions you want to ask this kind of say glasses this kind of line this is the outline and then you can get a kind of a, a uncertain face it's uh, something synthesized and this kind of topological uh, space maybe it's uh, it's nonsense it's uh, it's uh, um, it's nonsense that you say uh, w w what is this topological these points in topological space yeah, maybe here, uh, if you wanted to this uh, space in this point, you say, yeah, these kind of reflections, let's say, are collected here. If you want to ask about reflections, maybe you, you go there. If you want to ask about uh, other places, you go to uh, other uh, places in this topological unit. And uh, there is uh, uh, some funny uh, inter uh, tools that you can uh, see it uh, online, like this fix to fix and uh, this idea that uh, wherever or whatever you will draw you will find a cat so how to how each pixel in this uh, in this uh, output image how each pixel is correlated with the inputs which is uh, other uh, pixels um, the same for uh, the same what, what, what you see also can be uh, built in in in, uh, in a vector shape, not uh, something um, deconstructed into it, into pixels. So with the, with this uh, vector shape, this is a building envelopes of villas, and these villas you you can uh, correlate uh, between them. You can uh, 
uh, go from uh, each proposal to another one. Uh, what you saw as a transformation is is uh, you go from every uh, probabilistic uh, building to another. And uh, with this uh, with this one, um, you can find a lot of uh, of ideas, uh, idea of uh, accord with uh, some. Uh, uh, proportions uh, here there is no court or maybe different proportions here there is a wall uh, thin wall now the thin wall is removed and uh, transformed to another it's uh, you can you you you, you can uh, 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 do your subjective point and you can construct your subjective point uh, how you want to uh, to get benefits from this uh, design. Think about it like there is a lot of sketches. You do it in the design process in the beginning and then you can find something uncertain and uh, you didn't uh, finalize your decision and uh, uh, know exactly uh, each line specifically what it uh, will be at the end. So here this was uh, a six villas. So and with these six villas, without without uh, making a parameterized uh, model, we we do not do uh, here in this experiment any um, any parametric setup. The only thing is that you just draw the components like this: a terrace, a balcony, garden, entrance, and then each one has its own ratio, and it's and each one has its own position. And uh, then with the topological mapping, you will find yeah these uh, two these uh, two are similar to each other, so the, it can be uh, correlated, and you can find something in between. And uh, this is one of the maybe the projects that you can you, you want to do it at the end of this course. Uh, yeah, everyone has his own um, project at the end. So um, so now I can say that. If, if for this machine for this machine learning edit design there is a kind of a, a main uh, steps you uh, you start with you start uh, you want to collect a memory a memory of um, that represented as a data this memory is a floor plans is an images uh, you want to inspire something from it and you uh, got you extracted it and then you made this kind of topological mapping you filtrated it very well and the machine was able to correlate them and then the next thing that in future you have something as a situation and you want to know what to do and the, what to do is is needs from you to to articulate a question um, because uh, this 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 kind of machines need something uh, you know, uh, maybe uh, specific similar to to what you are doing let's say here in this uh, in Rhino uh, you uh, one moment so here you will find let's say here's a line. Okay, and uh, I want to draw another line. I want it uh, perpendicular. Okay, so now here is this uh, is is um, an exact uh, answer. It's a near or it's a perpendicular. So you have a specific question. You have a specific point, and here it's an, a certain answer. And this also happens in 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 a, in a millisecond. And if you wanted to underneath what's happening to make this kind of uh, perpendicular points, you have some math to, to get this intersection and some coding and this and so on. But uh, the answer to your question needs um, needs here that you get an idea uh, how to ask. Then you need to know how to navigate this probabilistic space to find these answers. Let's say this is a floor plan. This is a uh, outline of uh, of lands or, or of apartments. And then after this navigation, you, th you what you will get is a probabilistic answer. Maybe they are very accurate, so then you are lucky. But if it's not accurate, so you think. How to make it better, and or maybe I need to ask the question in a different, uh, in a different way or a different weight. 
uh, so here's just another example, uh, another representation for this idea that you have uh, maybe um, different um, uh, building envelopes uh, and every one has its own uh, parameters. Uh, and uh, you need at the end you have a specific question for a new land. You have a new plot and you say I need for this plot uh, some requirements. I need a floor aspect ratio to, to reach something, I need this to, to be for an office building, I need a residential building, and then you have a memory. And, this, and the, the machine, how it's quickly said, till it tells you, yeah, this, these questions I can find an answer in, let's say, here. So I know you know at the end that yeah maybe I am similar to this to this design not uh, another one uh, is this uh, this idea of uh, how to describe all of these uh, features of these uh, of these buildings and how to navigate and to get these answers this means that you are able to um, to know what is like the necessities and the contingencies so the necessities is uh, will be related or uh, directly related to your questions and you need an answer so you need to if you change the lines so then the answer is the pixels the resolution or the pixel uh, values will be changed and this will at the end will synthesize a new face or you have a, an outline of a building profile so then okay the contingency is the building or the floor plan so you have to uh, know exactly uh, the, the difference between these uh, kind of um, um, uh, matrices and values and you should construct it. Or uh, you know an algorithm that already it uh, um, manipulates and correlates uh, this kind of necessity values and contingency automatically. So for the reasoning method now you will uh, be uh, introduced to these uh, three reasoning methods in this course. Some of them you already know it, so this kind of deductive thinking mode or the deductive reasoning method, it's, uh, which, uh, which let's say it started from um, a rule or a theory and the known information and then you have a, a specific case, uh, then you experiment uh, this, uh, this theory uh, within this case, then you get a result. Say uh, you have an airflow, you have a building, you have an, 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 an output, the airflow, there is a physics theory that describes it. So I will give you some examples, I think it's uh, easier with this deductive thing. So let's say here you start with uh, the, the first premise is you have an, a reliable analytical uh, thinking simulator that based on a physics uh, uh, theory. And the, uh, the hypothesis is the parametric building. So you say, how should this uh, parametric uh, building be done? You change the parameter, then you get the results. You make a new dimension for this uh, for this building, or you change any kind of its proportion, then you get the results. So these kind of, uh, of, uh, of uh, steps, uh, starting from the theory or a rule like physics, then you have a building with specific parameters, then you have a result, this kind of uh, steps is uh, related to the uh, uh, deductive thinking method. For the inductive uh, thinking mode is uh, you start uh, actually from from the results. You, you collected some information and the uh, airflow maybe from the real life or from a simulator. But from the simulator at least you know that um, maybe you know uh, the accuracy of it. Then you make a kind of a topological mapping and you want to uh, to, um, uh, to extract a pattern of, of it. So uh, you want to extract a probabilistic pattern and do with this probabilistic pattern, you know in each situation how should the airflow behave. But this doesn't mean that you know the continuity of the function, but you at least get a probabilistic uh, solution. And uh, yeah, this is one of the experiments. You can uh, look at it uh, online. Uh, and I generated this kind of uh, CFD tool, uh, but it's not physics based, it's uh, based on this uh, machine learning uh, steps. The third reasoning method is something else that you know exactly the results and you want these results, uh, maybe um, 
with a specific uh, way. Uh, like uh, here is an example, you, are, you want the airflow in, in an area to behave in a specific direction. Uh, let's say uh, here this is the buildings and these are uh, an outdoor area exposed and you want to uh, make a kind of a function there, let's say um, a restaurant outside. So you want the airflow to behave in a specific way and with a specific velocity. So then, according to the dominant probabilistic patterns that you have, which is uncertain, it can give you a kind of a, not a, uh, not a specific answer how the building will be. It, uh, it tells you a kind of a probability that this kind of part, uh, you shouldn't put an obstacle. Uh, then, with this kind of less shaded uh, part, you see, uh, let's say this is a 90% uh, uh, probability for not putting any of these uh, building in this place or uh, you need uh, to move it a little bit by your own. So then whenever you move the, the building, you, you are not certain exactly uh, with this uh, output that how the building will be, but you have a little bit of uh, idea uh, to navigate. Uh, this is the abductive thinking mode. Um, these uh, four uh, elements, I get used to think uh, to think about it a lot. If I will um, um, try to use a machine learning algorithm for a specific case or a specific idea. It's important what what I want to do at the end, because if in the end uh, at the end you need only uh, to index to ask a question to get uh, a specific uh, uh, data. Uh, so let's say you have some plots, you have building envelope, you have design styles, you have a text, you have an image, and you have a question you want this image from this data. So this is the I mean with indexing with sensor size that you generate, you are able to generate something uh, in between this, uh, uh, this data. And uh, you need to think what kind of questions and uh, you have to be uh, ready for a reasonable or unreasonable answers. This is uh, something uh, else you need to know the, the quality uh, of, the, of the answers you need and try to make this kind of uh, flipping between uh, answers and the questions, similar to uh, this idea that I explained it here, which is different than the dominant mode of using these uh, uh, physics-based uh, simulators. That no, I needed the airflow to behave in a specific way. It tells you uh, a probabilistic obstacle map, uh, where you should put uh, building or you or where you should avoid to put the building then you do it by yourself I think you, you, maybe you try you will try to put it into your um, mind in the next steps is to ask yourself these kind of questions uh, about uh, what about the data that you uh, see it and how you collect the data and how you collect it uh, objectively or subjectively. And uh, if your kind of your way of con um, of uh, featureizing this data, is it uh, more explainable or less explainable? And uh, what is the final reference? If the final reference, let's say, it, it, you have uh, you want to uh, collect the data from human behavior, which is something more complex than. Uh, geometric, I think. With the geometry, uh, you can say it's a self-reference. It's easy that you say this, and uh, you look at you look at you look at the circle, and you say is it uh, complete or incomplete? It's um, something easy. But with the behavior of a human, it's not easy. Uh, you can find someone smiling, but from inside he's not smiling. How how, how you, you should ask this kind of question because the final reference is important about how you. Uh, what you're judging about this data and how you uh, will describe it. And um, these uh, kind of topics, we will uh, learn uh, about it together in the first uh, 
in the, in the, in the next uh, lectures uh, about the geometry, uh, what's parametric function, implicit function, the topological space, feature engineering, the, these kind of algorithms like KNN and so on and others. Uh, and we will, in every step, we will say uh, to ourselves, now we are discovered the data, now we are, we want to make this kind of uh, measurement of distance, uh, so we will know where we are until we get the, the, this loop. And of course, this loop, if we will reach the, 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 the for a pro problem solving step or you have a design step and you are, you find something uh, not uh, correct or the results not high enough so then you can start again to the uh, discover a space or the observation so to see how to refine the output to get uh, proper results uh, also we will uh, use uh, some tools uh, customized to this course uh, and all of these uh, tools works with uh, with Rhino, so we uh, Rhino 7 or, or Rhino 6, it should work on both, and on Mac or Windows. And uh, these tools is uh, we 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 don't need to be a professional now in this course, uh, but of course if you are uh, good uh, and make, know how to code inside these uh, these tools, this will be very good, of course. Uh, to uh, push uh, a lot of the limits of um, of your inputs, but uh, in the from the next uh, lecture we will just know what is this interface, how to draw some uh, basic uh, models, how to move it, how to subtract it, uh, know a little bit about this uh, grasshopper, how to uh, make an input and to get the outputs of it. But we don't need uh, to be professional in these tools in, in this course. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.